man, I am trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm coming. Coming. I'm coming. I'm coming, man. I'm 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 knocking them out. Left and right. You know what I'm saying? Knocking them out of part. You know what I'm saying? Coming back to back to back to back to back to back to back with these good videos, uh, these good live feeds. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting my groove back. I'm getting it back. I'm getting I'm back in the saddle where I am comfortable. And this is where we get it in. You know what I'm saying? Lockout men. That's what's up. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to go? Let's go. Brian Little. <laughs>
even think about speeding in one. Of course, a car can kill as well, but I get it. Not, I mean, I get it now that speeding, period, isn't what I need to be doing at all. I was thinking of going with one to get my CDLs, but I just got a copy of my driving record. And I'm not thinking I have a chance with anyone, honestly. Any advice? Or should I just scrap the idea of getting my CDLs all together? Well, Warner, again, it depends on the consistencies of the tickets. Now, if you got like a lot of tickets, then yeah, you're, you know, getting your license for a, uh, through a sponsored trucking school. Uh, yeah, you might might want to consider might want to consider holding off on that. Now, again, if you go to your trucking school and pay out of pocket, then that shouldn't have too that shouldn't have too much to 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 affect your CDL. You see what I'm saying? Because you paying for your CDL out of pocket and you already got it. You just got to find a company that will bring you on despite your motor history background. It's going to be tough. Real tough. It's going to be an issue at a time. Real tough. All right? Should you just scrap the idea of getting your CDL all together? No. I mean, if you really want to come out here and do the damn thing, put your mind to it and get it. But what I would suggest to you is that I will hold up before I go to a trust sponsored school versus going to a school out of my pocket. Now, if you go to a school out of the pocket, that does, you, you, you can still get your CDL. All right. You say, you say you have a ticket from 2011, 2015, 2018, and one just recently in 2020 that was not down to a seatbelt ticket. Please don't judge me. I already feel bad as it is because I probably ruined my chances. Oh, man. So 2011, that probably, what was this? Uh, what was this? 2021? So 2011, 20, 2011 and the 2015, you probably shouldn't have too much to worry about because that probably would have dropped off already. But yeah, the 2018 and the 2020 that was recent, yeah. Because the company's going to want to know is, why are you speeding? Like, dude, what is what is the point? We're going to put you in a, we're going to put you first, we're going to put you in an $80,000 ton, I mean 80000 $80,000? 80, well, yeah, trucks can still cost up to $80,000. But we're going to put you in an 80,000 pound truck and you speed. Now, granted, the governor won't let you go past a certain, uh, won't let you go past a, you know, a certain mile, like 65, 70. You know what I'm saying? So you, you probably won't be speeding in that aspect. But Still, they're going to want to know, why are you speeding? And you already got like four tickets for speeding? Yeah, they're going to look at that and they, they, they not, their insurance is not going to bring you on because they're going to consider you as a liability. All right. Now, some of the people uh, in that post gave their, own, uh, gave their own advice. Here's a few of them. One of them says, I have two speeding tickets in my personal vehicle, and I still drive a truck. Don't let anything stop you. P.S. Western Express. Yeah, well, if anything, uh, a second uh, a second chance company, Western Express, might bring you on. But still, they're going to still see you as a liability because, because of the speed in your personal vehicle. Um, 
right here, here's another one. So I'm not sure if anyone suggested this, as I did not read through the comments. But this on this thread, on this thread, but my advice is that if you are looking to get your license for a company sponsored training, then just contact them directly and speak with a recruiter. They will be able to tell you whether or not that you qualify for it. Now, a company sponsor, yeah, you, you're going to have to tell them anyway when you talk to them. And when, when you talk to them, they're going to be like, look, let me just tell you this. You might have a chance and you might not have a chance. But once they get that information to their safety department and they're going to look at it, you got four tickets for speeding already in your personal vehicle. Now you want to come on and drive this 80,000 ton, uh, 80,000 pound truck. The thing, the thing that's going to go through their mind is that can they trust you? Think about it. This post said, I will wait after this year so that the last speeding ticket will be gone three years. Yeah, the 2018 one. And then go to a second chance company like Western Express, like I said. The problem is not with the companies, which is true. It is with the insurance companies that they use because they're, they're bound. Trucking companies are bound by their insurance company. If an insurance company tell the trucking company, hey, we don't want ABCD driving the truck, then they can't bring you on, no matter how nice you is on the truck. They won't be able to bring you on because they consider you as a liability. If you uh, they if you are too much of a risk for raising their rates, then they won't cover the company, so they definitely won't hire you. So again, with that said, um, with that said, and not, and not to get too deep, but you you already got a ticket in 2011, 2015. Those two is already knocked off. If you just hold off until one more year, the 2018 ticket will fall off. And then you just got the 2020 ticket, which you could just tell them. You, you might not even need to tell them that it's a, a speeding ticket. You could just tell them, hey, this, it, it was a seatbelt ticket. That's all. Now, the other three tickets is still going to be on your record somewhere. It will still be on your record somewhere. But make sure, and here's a tip, before you come into the industry, get your MVR. It don't cost that much. Hell, it, 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 it don't cost that much. And you can get it offline. Get your MVR. That's it. Get your MVR for the last five years. And you can pretty much take that with you when you go to the trucking company. Because when they are going to look it up, they're going to be like, oh, okay, bam, bam, boom. But bam, you already got a copy. And then you can explain each individual events. So get your MVR if you're thinking about coming into the trucking company. I'm just saying. All right? All right, well, that's going to do it for this commentary. I hope it helped you guys out. Um, I hope it uh, I hope it answers a few questions or answer a few or yeah, answer a few questions. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely, you know, uh, try second chance companies like Western Express, Swift, maybe. But uh, try those companies right there, and when you get a chance to get back on, just drive like you got some sense. That's all. Nobody ain't in that much of a freaking hurry, especially in the truck. I'm just saying. All right? I'm just saying. You're not, that load is not that important. I mean, to get to, get to, to get to, uh, your deliveries on time. You can always call your company up and be like, yo, bro, I'm not going to make it or whatever, whatever. But still, though.
drive the truck, all right? Drive the truck like you got some sense, all right? All right, that's about it. You guys take it easy. Again, if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button because it will move the algorithm. Just saying, the algorithm. All right, other than that, everybody, y'all take it easy. And I'll come back at you with another one. Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>